Hello everyone, my name is Fumi Sanusi. I am the supervisor of the Echo Lab at Piedmont Atlanta Hospital. Today we will be going over how to perform a diastology stress echo on a Philips Epic cart. As you can see on my screen, I'm on the demographic page. It says diastology stress. However, on your page, it should say your patient's information at this um, on this page, you would have the patient's demographic information. You would have the name, the blood pressure, the height and the weight, and all that information. I'm going to go ahead and acquire that page. And next, I'm going to go to 2D. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to take some images for contraindication. It will be our screening images for contraindication. I'm going to go to the protocol on the screen. I'm going to pick my protocol that I want to do, which is the exercise. To the left of the screen, you're going to see pause protocol for our screening images. And we're going to start by acquiring a four Epical 4, 2D Epical 4 view. We're going to acquire that. And the purpose of this view is so that we can measure our four chamber LV volumes, our EF and our LA volumes. Next, we're going to put color on our mitral valve. We're going to check for MR as well as pulmonary, the pulmonic vein flow. You optimize your image. Make sure your color box is also showing the pulmonic vein flow. And this is to check for MR and again, part of our diastology screening. Okay. Further on in the protocol, we will be acquiring the mitral valve inflow images. We will be acquiring the tissue Doppler images for diastology. And in this case, because the patient does not have stenosis, we would only, we would still take the CW to check for the stenosis, VTI, so we can measure a VTI on a mitral valve. I will not measure here because this patient obviously does not have stenosis. I will take a Doppler of the pulmonic vein flow. Again, part of our diastology screening. There we go, we do not have any reversal here. The patient does not have any MR as you can see. Next, we will t put color on our tricuspid valve. Again, to check for regurgitation. We'll do a CW through our tricuspid valve for our VSP. We will not make any measurements here because the patient does not have a full envelope. Next, we're going to go to the five chamber view. We're going to take a five chamber image in 2D. We'll put color on the aortic valve. Again, to check for AI. 
Chaotic valve regurgitation. We will take a Doppler through here with a CW to check for aortic valve, aortic valve gradient. We will measure the gradient here, even though we can see that there is no stenosis. We will also acquire a pulse wave here. We would measure our LV or TBTI. Acquire that image. Next, we will go to a apical two chamber view. Again, we're taking this for EF, LV volumes, and LA volumes measurements. Next, we're going to go to our long axis view. And you want to optimize your image here. We're going to acquire the 2D image. Next, we're going to put color on the aortic valve. Make sure your color box is small and it covers the valve. We're going to acquire that. Again, checking for regurgitation. We're going to do the same for the mitral valve. We're going to acquire that image. Next, we're going to go one intercostal space up and get our aortic root and ascending in 2D. We're going to measure here, and we just want to make sure there's no dilatation or dissection. I'm going to go under vessel to the left of the monitor here and I'm going to measure. I will acquire that and I will also measure the ascending. All right, and that takes us to the end of our contraindication screening. Next, I'm going to go back to the protocol. On pause the protocol, and that will take us into the stress protocol. So what we're going to do is mitral valve inflow at this point, so the region of interest is not... It doesn't matter where it is for this image right here. Gonna do the mitral valve inflow.
again optimize your image. Okay, we're going to measure the E to A. You go to mitral valve to the left of the screen. You measure your E to A. Again, if you look, it's going to show you the next thing is to take your tissue Doppler. It says view on the screen here, which shows the next image you should take. Tissue Doppler lateral. So we put our tissue Doppler button. We go to the lateral image. Again, optimize it. There you go. We're going to measure our lateral. Again, it tells you view TDI medial under the view screen. Again, telling you the next image you should take. We'll measure medial. The next we're going to take the, we're going to check for the TR again in CW. Okay, we do not have a full envelope, so we are not going to measure. Because we didn't make any measurement here, you will double click on that image. All right, now we're back in our four chamber. And as again, the next view, it's telling us to take the epical four. So this is where it's important where your box goes to. Uh, you have your box, make sure you have the entire LV because that's where it's going to show once you acquire your image. Now we're in Apical 4, and we're going to hit Acquire. Okay, now we're going to select. At this point, you can select multiple, or you can select just one image. You pick the image that you're happiest about with. And I'm going to pick image number two. And then again, if you look on the view, it takes you to the next one, Apical 2. We're going to acquire Apical 2. Optimize your image. Okay, I am happy with the number 2 again. Next is Apical 3. You can also ask your patient to take a breath in. Patient, take a breath in. Hold it. You can breathe. Oh. All right, so I'm going to take... Actually, I'm going to reject this one and we'll do it again. Um, it says on here, reject Epical 3, and we'll do and see if we can get a better one. All right, that looks a lot better. Take a sniff in, just a sniff. Breathe. All right, I'm going to pick the number one image. And next is short axis. Again, you want to make sure you're still in the region of interest. Your box is in the region of interest. We're going to acquire. All right, we 
I'm just going to pick one. Okay, so at this point, you have all four. You have your resting apical three, sacs four, and two. So on the screen, it's saying, do you want to edit this stage? Do you want to accept the stage? We're going to go ahead and accept the stage. If you're happy with everything, you can accept it or edit. So we're going to accept at this point. Now we're going to wait for the patient to get off the treadmill. And then we'll take our peak, uh, our peak images. All right. So patient is back. We're going to start with our apical four. It says on the screen, uh, it says capture apical four. So we're going to get our apical four. Lean back just, lean back just a little bit. That's good. All right. In a normal situation, of course, the patient's heart rate is going to be a lot faster than this. Once you're happy with your four, you move on to your two. And I'm changing the, I'm changing the views on the screen right here, where it says view. Right now, I'm in two. It's, it's a continuous capture where you tell the machine the next state to go to. I'm going on to my three. Take a breath in. And then I will go on to my short axis. Once I'm happy with my Three on the screen, it says end capture. I'm going to hit end capture. And you should have all your um, images here where you can select. Now, if you look on the screen, it says view epical four. To the left, it says review page. So I'm going to use, if I see any image that I like here, I can stay on this page. However, if not, I can scroll and look at all my Epical 4 images and pick one of them. So I went back and I think I'm going to pick image number 3 here. I'm going to hit 3. And that tells me that I have, a, I have chosen my Epical 4. Next on the view point, it says Epical 2. Now I'm going to go back to review and go review until I get to my apical two images. And I'm going to keep scrolling until I find one that I'm happy with. And then I'm going to pick that one. And I'm going to pick this one. Uh, I am going to pick the one in image four. Again, the next one says Epical 3. I'm going to review till I find my Epical 3 images. And I'm going to pick one of them. Okay, I'm going to pick the, the third image right here. Next, it says View Short Axis. I am going to go back to my review page and find my Short Axis images. There they are, and I'm going to pick one of them. And I'm going to pick the one on image three. Now we have, we should have all our images here. If you look on the screen, it says you have the peak, uh, epical three, short axis, epical four, epical two. We have all our images. And then I'm going to pick, if you're happy with them, you hit accept stage. If you want to edit, you click on edit stage. Since we're happy with them at this point, we're going to click accept stage. And at this point, 
where we can do two things. We can pause the protocol and immediately acquire the other Doppler images, or as in this case, we're going to go on to follow the prompt on the machine that says to go on to our post images and acquire our mitral valve inflow. So we're going to do just that. And again, when we do this, we don't have to worry about the green box at this point. Again, you want to optimize your image, your Doppler image as well. You can turn down your game. We're going to measure the E to A. Next, it says TDI lateral. Again, you hit your lateral tissue Doppler. Okay, we're going to measure our lateral. E velocity. We'll do the same for the medial. We'll measure the medial. E velocity. And the next thing is it says RVSP. Again, we do not have a full envelope here, so we will not make any measurements with our choir. Again, because we did not measure, we will double click on the image to keep, move, to keep going. We're back on Apical 4. This is our recovery. On this machine, it says this is the post stage. Again, this is where the green box matters. You want to make sure you optimize you, your image and you make sure the region of interest is the green box is in the region of interest, which would be your LV. We're going to acquire, if you look, it says view apical 4. Now acquire. Again, you select which image you want. We're going to select image number one. It says apical 2. Patient, take a slight breath in. Hold it. All right, you can breathe. I'm going to select number one. Next is Epical three. Again, we're going to pick the second image here. Lastly, you take your short axis of the LV. Okay, we'll pick the second image. 
All right. And once we're done, we can either edit the stage or we can accept it. So we have post, we have all our views. We got apical three, short axis, four and two. So now we're going to accept the stage. And on the screen now you can see all your images starting with the epical 3, rest epical 3, followed by peak epical 3 and the post. So now you have all three stages and all images in the three stages. When you hit your review button to the bottom corner on the left, you can view all of them and make sure you got everything and that they are all labeled correctly. This is a this is very important that the label corresponds with the image. Rest short axis, peak short axis, and post short axis. Make sure what it's the label says is what you're looking at. That's very important. Those are apical four images, all three. And same for the apical two, all three images. And now we can compare images on the button where it says compare. You can hit compare and then pick the Doppler images you want to put side by side. And this is just going to help the reader to be able to view those Doppler images to compare them. You can compare the rest images and the images post peak, you can compare them and put them side by side. Say for example, we're gonna peak the we're gonna pick the inflow, mitral valve inflow at rest. I'm gonna scroll to the right. This is the mitral valve. I'm gonna hit compare images first. Then I'm going to pick the uh, mitral valve inflow at rest. You see it at the top left of the screen. And I'm going to go to the post-peak mitral valve. Now you see there's rest inflow and post inflow, both on the screen side by side. I can do the same for lateral rest, the tissue Doppler images at rest, I can put the lateral E velocity image, I can also scroll down t on the right, find the one, the lateral right there. Again, they're side by side. So the reader has the resting images to the left and the post images to the right of the screen. And you can do the same for any of the images that you want to put side by side. We're going to acquire that. And that brings us to the end.